Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome Wagwan on the Wagalang. Wagalang. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. I'm Sharika and here on this channel I share my love journey with y'all. So um, I also want to say a massive, big, big, massive thank you to all my subscribers and all the peeps who have left me a like or a comment. Thank you so much. And if you're seeing me for the first time, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and bust down in the comment section if you want to see more lock content. All right. So I want to give you a little lock zhuzh. Let y'all see what's going on with them babies because these babies are flourishing. So I am seven months in y'all. And of course I have um, like small size, almost like micro locks, but I have various sizes in my head because one day I just decided to sit down in my bed and use my fingers to part my way through and put in some mini twists so i'm seven months in this is what my babies are looking like then i'll show you the back So that's what my babies are looking like in the back. Now, today, y'all, I want to share with you, um, for those of you who are thinking about getting locks, um, or you're thinking of interlocking your hair, and you're hearing about these two-point rotation, these three-point rotation, these four-point rotation, today, I just want to quickly show you, give you a tutorial of how to do the different point rotations. So that's what this video is about today. So I have experience with doing four point rotation. That's what I did for my first set of locks that I had for four years. Those were braid locks, as in I do three strand braids as the foundation and to maintain them, I did a four point rotation interlocking method. Now for these, my, my two strand twist foundation lock set, I do a two-point rotation now because I want the volume. Um, I strongly believe that those uh, first set of locks that I had, the four-point rotation method I used to maintain them, helped to give me a slimmer, tighter um, lock result. And I believe that going in with the two-point rotation this time around, I'm going to get a more voluminous, fatter um lock and that's what i want i want a lot of volume as well as the length so when you hear about two-point rotation three-point rotation four-point rotation really just think about it as two point of direction three point of direction or four point of direction so the rotation is really replace it with direction and i think that would help to explain it and let it not sound as complicated as as it does because i i remember specifically hearing about all these different rotations i was confused when i heard it for the first time i was like what the hell and then i watch some youtube videos and it took me a little while to grasp it so hopefully i can do it justice and deliver it in a very simplistic way that you're able to really get it <laughs> all right let's go on this crazy ride with me y'all so let me explain it a little so when it comes on to two point of direction or rotation what you're basically doing is interlocking the hair in two different directions over and over and over until the hair is retied right so let's go in with the first example i am going to take this lock right here this lock i have some a little bit of new growth right not a whole lot going on but i do have some new growth so first of all what i'm going to decide to do i'm going to say sharika how do you want this lock to lay so that's the first question you need to ask yourself how what what position what direction do you want the lock to lay in i want this lock since it's a part of my side sweep i want it to lay in this direction right over to my left so when i start out i am going to be using the two point of direction interlocking method now so because i want it to lay coming over to my left i am going to start by 
my first point of rotation or interlocking i'm going to be pushing the crochet needle down right so some people would say this is going north but i'm going to push it in in this direction attach it here put it in to the hook and then i'm gonna have to latch it in and i'm just gonna pull it through all right let's do that again all right so we pull it down and because i want the lock to come over to this side my last point of direction is going to be in the direction that I want the lock to lay in. Now, a very important pro tip is, you see that? So it lays in this direction. So you have to think about what direction you want the lock to lay in. So that's two point rotation. I use two different direction. I started with going forward which is to bring the lock down and then my second direction was to go this direction since I want the lock to be there and if there was more new growth there I would repeat the same set of directions which would be down and then over to the left so that's two different directions that you're using consistently to retie the hair okay all right, so a pro tip, if you get a little confused about um, what direction the hair is going to fall when you're using this um, kind of tool, a pro tip is what, whatever direction your hand is holding onto the handle of the tool, that is the direction that your lock is going to fall in. For example, for example, this lock, if I hold it like this, my hand is holding on to the end, so the lock is, when I attach it to the hook, the lock is going to follow the direction of the handle. Do you understand? So it's gonna come, the lock itself is going to be pulled in this direction. So that's a pro tip. If you get confused about um, when you put this into the root, like, oh my God, what direction does it go in? It's gonna go in the direction of the handle of the tool. All right, so let's move on to three-point rotation. I hope you got that um, straight. So for three-point rotation slash direction, I'm gonna show you an example. So for this lock, right? We have more new growth here, so I have enough um, room to do a three-point direction. So I want this lock again to fall to the left of me. So I'm gonna start out with pulling it to the right. That is my first direction, is going to be to the right. Pull it through to the right. And then my next direction, I'm going to pull it to the back of my head. So I'm going to center it and push it through and then attach it and pull it to the back. And then my last direction is going to be over to my left since that is the direction that I want it to lay in. All right. So this is a perfect example of the three point rotation. Now, since I do have some more um, new growth, a little bit more, I would repeat the three point direction again, which means since my very first direction when I started out with this was from the right, I would go back again with the right, center it. I'm sorry my hair is so light. The color is light, so it's a little harder to see. Um, I would start from the right. So you have to keep in mind what direction you did. And then I would pull it down, right? And uh, right now it feels tight. So even though I didn't quite exactly get it to stop in this direction, it is still, it's still somewhat falling in this direction. The goal is always to get it as close 
in the direction that you want it to but you also have to respect the different rotations the different um, rules so if you have two-point rotation the rule is never to repeat the same direction consecutively meaning if I started out going right when I pull it through I shouldn't be going to right again right after I should go to left or I should go I should go in the opposite direction and then I can always come back to right um, again so the reason for that is because if you do repeat the same direction over and over again you're going to create a hole an opening in the base of your lock and your lock is going to grow with the hole in it and we don't want that so we always want to do opposite directions so you want to if it's a two-point rotation and you want the hair to fall to the side you start start out with either entering um, through the right which is my right now and you attach you pull through and since I want it to lay over this side I'm gonna do the three-point rotation since I have a, a good amount of new growth here so I go went from the right now I'm going to bring it to the back right so I'm not repeating going from the right again I'm going in the opposite direction and now I want it to fall over to the left of me right so it can flow nicely so now I bring it to the left and that's a three-point rotation you guys see there's no more new growth love no more new growth love for me to retighten so that's a three-point rotation three different directions and again if there was more new growth you would repeat the three points of direction starting from right then going down and then going to the side or the direction that you want to lay it in for four-point rotation it's basically the same except that you have an additional direction so here i am going to show you the four-point rotation so for this one we're gonna do four point of rotation i have a bunch of new growth on this one so this seemed to be perfect all right you guys it's a habit for me to start going from the right i kid you not so i push it in i center it at the root so it's evenly and then of course that's the hook put the hook in and then you see that latch we close it once the hair is underneath the hook, you close it. So that's the right. Um, I'm going to bring it down to the back of my head. Remember, what, whatever direction you're holding onto the handle at, that's the direction the lock is going to go in when you're interlocking it. See that? And now I'm doing a four-point rotation. So we did right, we did back. Now I'm going to do front. Right, center it, push it through gonna put the underneath close it pull it through to the front the last direction is to this side which is the side I want my hair to fall it's gonna push that underneath and close the latch and then pull it through perfect so this is a perfect four-point rotation <laughs> method right there perfect in the sense that it only took four um four interlocking in order to like retie <laughs> nicely so i hope this uh, clear it up for y'all and i hope um yeah i explained it well for you guys let me just summarize Two point rotation think of it as two points of direction so you're going to be using two different directions to inter interlock um your retire your lock consistently throughout so you start going from the right and then you chose um to go to the left because you want your lock to lay to the left then that would be your second point of direction and then if you have more um, here at the root to retighten you would start over again going back in that very first direction which is to right and then to the to the left and then if you have more here to retighten you repeat so you're doing the same two directions or the same three directions or the same 
four directions over and over until the hair retightens. So it's like going through the cycle and starting the cycle again. The cycle would be the two points of direction or the three points of direction or the four points of direction. And then you start over again until the lock is tied. And also important tip, please bear in mind whatever direction you want the hair to lay in, let that be your final, um, the final direction that you pull that um, lock through, just so that you don't have the trouble of fighting with your hair and the hair pins to have your hair lay in a particular direction. You know what I mean? Um, I recently figured out that I prefer to have my short hair um, with this, uh, you know, zigzag part. <laughs> Which is a happy accident. I didn't even do a zigzag part in my head. I, you know, but this is a happy accident. Um, so I just discovered that I like the style like this, and now I've kind of trained my hair with hairpins. But if I had done my last retie to be like this, I wouldn't have to use a hairpin. So that's kind of the beauty. It makes styling more effortless, more easy. And we love it over here. Everything effortless and easy. So you guys, I hope I explained that um, thoroughly for y'all and that you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel, y'all. Next month is my birthday and it would mean the world to me if y'all help me get to 100 subscribers. We can do it. We can do it. Anyways, bust down in the comments. Let me know what you think of this video and um if you learn anything and i'll talk to you all soon bye take care